if I want to go to Donner Lake, I'm going to go to Donner Lake um, and pay the gas to get there. Well, if you filled up your tank in the last few weeks, you've already noticed your dollar isn't going quite as far as it used to. A surge in gas prices is reaching the highest level since 2015. CBS 13's Elisa Becerra joins us live from Sacramento with a look at the prices. Good morning, Elisa. That's right. Uh, the prices are definitely up. I mean, considerably. You have to pump your gas. You go, what happened? Just a few weeks ago, they were in the high two range. Boy, they are definitely spiking in that three range. And the surge stems partly from fears of military action in Syria, the trade conflict with China, as well as rising oil prices. A lot of reasons here. One local economist says that warm weather on the West Coast also has contributed to more travel and thus more gas consumption. The demand comes as several oil refineries in the U.S. are down for maintenance as companies switch over from their winter blends to their summer fuel blends. And an expert tells us that foreign conflict again isn't helping the situation either. It generally puts an upward pressure on on oil prices in part because of uncertainty. Uncertainty is the bugaboo of business and as soon as you don't know what's going to be happening, how much it's going to cost you and you can be sure of your supplies, um, things happen and prices go up. They certainly have. In fact, gas prices are expected to remain stable through the summer surge, and that's expected to last for the next several weeks. So the bottom line for people traveling and using their vehicle who use gasoline these days, get your wallets ready because you're going to have to pay just a little bit more and rising, I think, for a little while. Back to you. Alisa Bassetta with a live report from Sacramento this morning about the rising gas prices. Alisa, thank you. And with gas prices going up, does it pay to use a gas credit card? Well, some offer you discounts of five cents a gallon on gas, okay? But if you don't pay off that card each month, creditcards.com says most gas credit cards have steep interest rates, some more than 23%. That's nearly seven percentage points higher than the national average.